Shofatim, Judges 3. Now these are the nations which Yahuwah left to prove at Yashara'el by them, eth even as many of Yashara'el as had not known eth all the wars of Canaan. Only that the generations of the children of Yashara'el might know, to teach them war, at the least, such as before knew nothing thereof. Namely, five lords of the Pelashitim, and all the Kena'anim, and the Sidanim, and the Chavim, that dwelt in Mount Lebanon, from Mount Baal Charman unto the entering in of Hamath. And they were to prove eth Yashara'el by them, to know whether they would hearken unto eth the commandments of Yahuwah, which he commanded eth their fathers by the hand of Moshe. And the children of Yashara'el dwelt among the Kena'anim, Chittim, and Emorim, and Perazim, and Chivim, and Yevasim. And they took Eth their daughters to be their women, and gave Eth their daughters to their sons, and served Eth their Elohim. And the children of Yashara'el Eth did evil in the sight of Yahuwah, and forgot Eth Yahuwah Elohehem, and served Eth Baal Alim, rather Eth Baalim, and Eth Asherah. Therefore the anger of Yahuwah was hot against Yashara'el, and he sold them into the hand of Kushan, Rish Atha'aim, king of Aram Nahayarim, and the children of Yashara'el served Eth Kushan, Rish Atha'aim, eight years. And when the children of Yashara'el cried unto El Yahuwah, Yahuwah raised up a deliverer to the children of Yashara'el, who delivered them, even Eth Othiniel, the son of Kenaz, Caleb's younger brother. And the Ruach Yahuwah came upon him, and he judged Eth Yashara'el and went out to war. And Yahuwah delivered Eth Kushan, Rish Athayim, king of Aram Nahiarim, into his hand. And his hand prevailed against Kushan, Rish Athayim. And the, ha- the land had rest forty years. And Othiniel, the son of Kenaz, died. And the children of Yashara'el did evil again in the sight of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah strengthened Eth Iglan, the king of Moab, against Yashara'el, because they had done Eth evil in the sight of Yahuwah. And he gathered unto him Eth the children of Ammon and Amalek, and went and smote Eth Yashara'el, and possessed Eth the city of palm trees. So the children of Yashara'el served Eth Eglan, the king of Moab, eighteen years. But when the children of Yashara'el cried unto El Yahuwah, Yahuwah raised them up a deliverer, Eth Ehud, the son of Gera, a bin ha Yamani, a man left handed, and by him the children of Yashara'el sent a present unto Eglan, the king of Moab. But Ehud made him a dagger which had two edges of a cubit length, and he did gird it under his raiment under his right thigh. And 
He brought Eth the present unto Eglon, king of Moab, and Eglon was a very fat man. And when he had made an end to offer Eth the present, he sent away Eth the people that bore the present. But he himself turned again from the quarries that were Eth by Gilgal, and said, I have a secret errand unto you, O king, who said, Keep silence. And all that stood by him went out from him. And Ehud came unto him, and he was sitting in a summer parlor, which he had for himself alone. And Ehud said, I have a message from Elohim unto you. And he arose out of his seat. And Ehud put forth at his left hand, and took at the dagger from his right thigh, and thrust it into his belly. And the haft also went in after the blade, and the fat closed upon the blade, so that he could not draw the dagger out of his belly. And the dirt came out. Then Ehud went forth through the porch and shut the doors of the parlor upon him and locked them. When he was gone out, his servants came, and when they saw that, behold, the doors of the parlor were locked, they said, Surely he covers at his feet in his summer chamber. And they tarried till they were ashamed, and behold, he opened not the doors of the parlor. Therefore they took Eth a key, and opened them, and behold, their Lord was fallen down dead on the earth. And Ehud escaped while they tarried, and passed beyond Eth the quarries, rather quarries, and escaped unto Seiratha'ah. And it came to pass, when he was come, that he blew a shofar in the mountain of Ephraim, and the children of Yashar'el went down with him from the mount, and he before them. And he said unto them, Follow after me, for Yahuwah has delivered at your enemies, at the Moavim, into your hand. And they went down after him, and took the fords of the Yardan toward Moab, and suffered not a man to pass over. And they slew of Eth Moab at that time about ten thousand men, all lusty, and all men of valor. And there escaped not a man. So Moab was subdued that day under the hand of Yashara'el, and the land had rest fourscore years. And after him was Shamgar, the son of Anath, which slew of Eth the Pelashitim six hundred men with an ox goad. And he also delivered Eth Yashara'el.